Hello, I'm Peggy O'Neill, guiding and teaching so that we can more fully know who we truly are and live as who we truly are. Today I'm going to start with a question. If you could feel anything right now, in particular, let's say a way of being, a feeling quality, if you could feel any feeling right now that you, and you could choose it, any feeling you want, what would you want to be feeling right now, the experience you'd want to be having? I'm going to guess somewhere in what you were thinking or words like happy, fulfilled, content, maybe loving, joyous, peace, maybe peace. Why did those words come to you so easily and naturally? I'm going to tell you why, of course. <laughs> because that's who you truly are. Who you truly are, I truly am, who each of us truly is, is love and peace and happiness or fulfillment, contentment. That's who we are. So right now we're living in a time that feels like we're covered with anxiety. I heard somebody the other day call it an anxious fear. Anxious fear, great word, right? But it is, it's kind of like this whole planet. We're all covered, we're immersed in this field, this sense of anxiety. And also there's a strong sense of waiting. I was on a call earlier today where that's what they were talking about. Most people are in a waiting mode right now. Even if people are working, we're still waiting for, well, what's next? What's going to happen? What's it going to be like? So a strong waiting energy. Both of those are legitimate. Both of those are ones that I encourage you, me, to sit with and to allow them to pass, to not hang on to them. Because here's the challenge. When we sit in those emotions that aren't truly who we are, remember, we're peace and love and happiness. When we sit in those other ones that we're not truly, that we're not, that aren't truly who we are, they pass. Anxiety passes, waiting passes. We sit in them long enough, then we start relating to life and ourselves that way and take actions in alignment with that. I learned this in a very powerful way uh, quite a few years ago now. I was living with my mom and I was ready to move. I wanted, wanted to move away from where we were living. And one day I'd asked her again, Mom, could we move? I wanted to move closer to my sister. And Mom said, no, I'm not moving. You can if you want to, <laughs> in her beautiful way of speaking. So uh, at that point, I went back to my office and sat down and thought about it and realized, oh my gosh, I was in a waiting mood. I'd been wanting to move for quite some time. But I was really waiting, waiting on her to say she was ready to move, waiting on her to say it was okay for me to move. I didn't realize it. But then once I shifted that, I moved into a feeling of anticipation. Okay, I'm moving. What does that feel like? It feels like I'm moving. I'm uh, excited about life. There's something new going to happen. So I, I uh, worked with myself to continue to go back. I mean, I'd find myself waiting again. But I'd notice I was doing that, and then I'd come back to that feeling of, I'm out, I'm out of here, I'm going, I'm moving on with my life, I've got things to do, would get some sort of, connecting with some sort of feeling like that. And lo and behold, in about three months, I had a job offer and I moved. So right now, I encourage all of us to, yeah, spend some time in those emotions that, that are really pulling us because of the times, they're legitimate, we're human, we're gonna feel the anxiety and the, that like, we wanna wait and see what happens. I wanna encourage us not to sit there very long though. Because what you want to be doing is being in the emotional sensation, the emotional field, if you will, the feelings of emotion of the way you want life to be. How do you want it to be when something shifts? Do you want it to be happy, loving, peaceful? Start when you notice yourself feeling anxiety and you're ready to move on, come back to those feelings of love and peace and joy and happiness and sit with those. Let those fill you up. Let those energize you. No telling what ideas might come to you, activities might come to you, even opportunities come to you. Because now you're not waiting anymore. You're not in anxiety anymore. But you're actually feeling like something's gonna happen in my life the way I really want it to. It takes practice, it takes work. I'm not saying it's easy. 
And yet, for the future to turn out how you'd probably like it to be, what I asked a couple of minutes ago, how you'd really like it to feel, you want to feel that now. Because how you feel now is going to impact what happens for you and with you and for your future down the road. Okay, let me know, let me know uh, what, uh, what came to you during this, uh, this uh, session and what ideas you have for, or, or the feeling qualities you want to have. And uh, just some comments. I love your sharing, so share the comments below, any questions you have. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.